Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. Wiz Khalifa's here. Khalifa. <laughs> Yo, we're, no, I told you about that. I thought you were there for that. No, you told me, you told me about it. But we saw Nori the other day, and he said he actually knows how to pronounce your name properly now. For real? Yeah, he said Wiz Khalifa, man. I like Kayafa better. Wiz Khalifa. I almost say it every time we talk about you. <laughs> oh, what did he think I was? So wait, you got. So what, what? When do you have this new album? Late August. And what's it called? Only N word in first class. He's the N word too. N word, man. Why say N word? When you travel, is it like that oftentimes? Um, no, nah, there's actually more N words in first class <laughs> than there used to be. Yeah. But there, a lot of the times I am, um, and just being young and smelling the way I do and having tattoos, they look at me a little bit crazy. Right smelling here. the way you do. Yeah, I smell like earth. Oh. Yeah, you didn't smell that right now. I sure did. Yeah, it I smells. Smell like I wanted him to clarify. As soon as I came like out of the bathroom, the, and the bathroom is many yards down the hall. Mm -hmm. As soon as I came out of the bathroom, I was like, oh, Wiz is here. Yeah. I want to go back to your performance real quick, um, the Coachella performance. Mm -hmm. I know that that must have been insane with the mm -hmm. whole Snoop Dogg yeah. thing. But if there was one person that you would bring back as a hologram, mm -hmm. who would it be? One hologram. Mm -hmm. oh. That you had to feature. You got one night, you know what I'm saying? You back in your hometown and you want to bring nine. back somebody. I don't. I honestly don't even know. A lot of people would expect me to say Jimi Hendrix or something like that, but um, I don't. I don't think I would do that. I don't know. I think I would just let everybody chill out. And rest in peace. That's nice. No, <laughs> don't steal. Don't br bring them back from the yeah. dead. Let them chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they were. I mean, like Pac was, you know, Snoop's man. You know what I'm saying? Like that was his young homie. So it was like um, they actually had energy together. Right. I don't have energy with anybody who's gone like that. Now, he wouldn't want to bring you know, you don't know. Big L back from the dead and then Big L robs Wiz and leaves him on stage. You know what I'm saying? Yo, that would suck. <laughs> wouldn't that be the worst? Like if he just stopped the show and was like, yo, man, I, I, I came here all this way to battle you, yo, and <laughs> destroy you lyrically. I'd be like, no. Please don't, Big don't L. Don't do it. Don't do it. And then what if you accidentally hologram all of his other Harlem boys who come back and just becomes a mess? Yeah, yeah then it'll be like, no, it wouldn't be a good thing. <laughs> Not to say that we got a problem with Harlem, but it's like the 90s and 2000s. Yeah, well. no, that different does, times. It doesn't mix well. Yeah. I, I want to switch gears for just a second. You know, the ladies, I need to know on behalf of the ladies, you know, you, you recently got engaged to Amber Rose, mm -hmm. and we found out about it on Twitter. Mm -hmm. She tweeted the ring, which is beautiful, by the way. Thank you. I want to know, what was the deciding factor that made you say, I want this woman to be my wife? Uh, just everything. It's just a collective of things, you know. Uh, everybody's seen our relationship from when it started and, you know, to where it's at now. But um, the in-betweens is just, you know, we've grown so much just as friends, just in love. And it's, it's you know, you got to take the next step as far as being grown and locking things down. And it's nothing forced. It's just you got to know what it is. Now, we all know that Amber Rose is a beautiful woman. Mm -hmm. And you guys have been in a relationship for, what, two years? Yeah, oh, well, it's a year now, a year and some change. Okay, a year and some change. But we can't front. Everybody that's in a relationship does something that's annoying to the other person. <laughs> what is something that's annoying? Like, what does she do that annoys you? You know what? She can't even help it. It's not her fault. Because I'm a Virgo and she's a Libra, but she's pretty indecisive. <laughs> and I hate when people can't make a decision on something and you can't. Because we like to plan, you know what I'm saying? Virgos like to plan for the future. So it's like nothing. It's not a personal thing. It's just like, okay, where are we going to eat? What do you want to yeah, eat tonight? Yeah, yeah. She hates the fact that I'm like so critical about just everything. Mm -hmm. I, I don't mind just saying like, no. She's like, just try it. I'm like, no. <laughs> you know what you're into and yeah, not into. Exactly, exactly. But there was, but there was also something that kind of shocked me on Kanye's "Way Too Cold." He said that he had respect for you. Mm -hmm. But do you believe him when he says that? <laughs> you know? Do you? I don't know. I'm Ask Saif. You. Ask Saif what Saif thinks. Do you believe him? Hell no. Because <laughs> everybody, everywhere I went, they're like, yo, Wiz, that's what's up, man. Salute, no. dog. Is it like a Yo, under... you should be happy, man. I want to know, like, really what people no, think. No, that dude's do doing, I mean I, I mean, I love you. I love Kanye. That dude's doing some reverse psychology. Ooh. He's trying to do, he's trying to kick the leg, like, wham. Yeah, Saif. A foot sweep. <laughs> yeah, Saif. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, because it is hard in hip hop to just hear someone as smart as Kanye say something. You, to take it at face way. value, is, <laughs> it's hard to Cobra Kai. So you're just gonna accept it for what it is, or you feel like there's something else going on? I don't. Um, I don't even speculate on it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, people take it as, as a positive, so that's all I take it as too. You know. Have you made an attempt to collab with anyone like that? Any of your heroes? Cause you haven't. You haven't. You've done. Nah, nah. Honestly, I just get caught up being a fan too much. You know what I'm saying? I really don't even like spoiling that shit. And I think that everything happens in time, like when it's supposed to happen. And, um, you know, well, I think... Well, Snoop that, was a big one. Yeah, yeah. And, and he, Too Short. He hit me up. You know, they they called me and was like, we should do some shit. I was like, damn. Okay, cool. What did you feel like the first time you fucking answered your phone and Snoop was like, what's up, nephew? Yeah, man. It, I was shaking. I didn't know what the fuck to say. I was like, yo, Will, roll me a joint, man. I gotta, I gotta smoke. I gotta be smoking while I'm talking to Snoop. I just talked to Dre the other day too for what? the first time and like they were acting like bitches in the background. Why did Dre call? Um we had to talk about the the set for Coachella. And he actually got you on the phone to talk details about that? Yep. You don't fuck around, right? Who Fresh Dre? Is, yeah. It was funny cuz he actually just called me to tell me that he was going to talk to me later. <laughs> What? <laughs> the perfectionist move. That's like, it right there. You, you know. got to set up yeah. the setup. Set up, set up. Was that, and then when you met him at Coachella, was the first time you met Dre? Um, well, I bumped into him at Rick Ross's birthday party in Miami, but that was the first time we really chopped it up and uh, and talked. And, you know, we're going to get in the studio and shit. So it's going to be crazy. It's going to be I've, amazing, man. I've never seen Dre. Well, I've never seen Dre in real life. He's muscular. You've never seen Dre? Never. He's the Hulk. Really? Never yeah, seen Dr. Hulk, Dre. Yo. Dr. Dre is on. Times, he's Batman, yo. He's with, you know, like Batman's suit got like all those muscles built in. He's like that shit. all the time? Yeah, yeah. But this was something I heard about Coachella. After Tupac's hologram performance, they were talking about a possible tour with you, Dr. Dre, Eminem. Yeah. I don't know about all that. That was yeah, crazy. Somebody said that they had read that online or something like that. I wouldn't be opposed to it. But dope. the tour this summer is. You gotta share a room with Tupac. <laughs> we'll smoke, we can smoke. We can smoke that hologram Kush. Tupac hologram. He don't share, man. <laughs> <laughs>